We're making crab curry. Crab curry. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> Lapa. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, today I want to share with you guys one of my favorite curry recipes, which is crab curry. Now, I love my curries. My mom is from Penang. I mean, I grew up having curries. I grew up cooking curries. And of all the different types of curries, crab curry is definitely one of my favorite favorite curries. I just love the sweetness of the crab. I mean, the sweetness of the crab really complements the flavors of the spices. And I just think it's absolutely fantastic. And every time I make this, I'm not kidding, okay? If you're like five houses um, down my house, you can smell it. It smells amazing. Now, for this recipe, we're going to use um, you know, our basic aromatics. We've got some onions, we've got some shallots, we've got garlic and we've got ginger. So this is basically to make the garlic ginger paste. So I've got about an inch of ginger. We're just going to grate this finely. You can also pound it. You can also um, blend it. I like grating because, you know, I won't really get the fibre from the ginger. And it will be like a really nice paste. So for this recipe, I am making about slightly more than two kilos of crabs. So if you don't know how to clean a flower crab, make sure you watch one of my how-to videos on my IGTV and on my YouTube channel. And I've got a new YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. All right, now on to my garlic. I'm doing about 12 cloves of garlic. As I mentioned, I'm doing a little bit more. But when you're making your um, basic garlic ginger paste, it's equal amount of garlic and ginger. So I'm done grating my garlic and my ginger. So for this recipe, I am using double the amount of garlic as to the ginger. So now we're going to sauté it. You can use vegetable oil um, or coconut oil. So I'm using coconut oil. Alright, so my oil is hot. I'm going to put my chopped onions in. And my chopped shallots. And we're going to sauté it. And we're going to add our ginger. I'll grate it ginger and I'll grate it garlic. I'm gonna saute it till it's nice and fragrant. Oh, it smells so good. And now it's ready. I'm gonna add my ground dried spices. So I've got over here, I've got my garam masala. I'm just gonna add my garam masala. I've got ground cumin, ground coriander seeds, got a little bit of meat curry powder. Now for my crab or my prawns, I love using meat curry powder because meat curry powder, uh, the flavour is more subtle. So it actually complements the flavour of the crab and the prawns. Whereas if I use the fish curry powder, the taste is a little bit stronger. So it tends to overpower the flavour of my shellfish. So now I'm going to add my curry powder and my chilli powder for an extra kick, of course. So we're going to sauté this again until it's fragrant or until you can see the oil rising at the top of the spices. Okay, now my spices are done. So now I'm going to add in my canned tomatoes. So I'm using one canned tomatoes whole tomatoes. So I'm just going to break them apart using my spatula. Now I'm going to add in my chicken stock. So I'm just going to use my spatula to sort of break my tomatoes into smaller pieces. You don't want them fine but you don't want it to be like whole pieces. And now I'm going to add in my honey. 
I'm using raw honey. So this is to balance out the flavour. We've got the sweet and sour taste from the tomatoes. So we just want to balance it out with a little bit of honey. A little bit of lemon juice. This is to give it a nice fresh taste to brighten up your curry. And of course, we've got some coconut milk. I'm going to pour it right in. I'm using about a cup of coconut milk. Thick coconut milk. I'm going to add in a little bit of um, freshly ground black pepper. And of course, some salt. Just give this a good mix. We're going to let it come to a boil for about a minute. And then we're going to pop our crabs in. All right, so my curry is bubbling and it smells absolutely amazing. And I tried it, it's so good. And I haven't even added my katam yet, my crab yet. So once I add the crab, oh, the flavors is just gonna be so good, so good. All right, now I'm gonna add these delicious guys in. And we're gonna let it simmer um, for about 10 more minutes and it is ready to be eaten. Now you can serve your crab curry with rice or if you're like me, you love bread, you can serve it with bread as well. Like naan is perfect with this or even your roti chanai. I'm just so hungry now guys, I can't wait to have this. And I give it a quick mix and I make sure everything is cooked properly. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's almost done now. It smells amazing. I'm just going to put this aside. I'm going to finish it off with some roasted cashew nuts. I'm just going to chop them up and sprinkle it on top. This is going to give a nice texture to the um, curry itself. All right, this is good. If you don't cook it with honey, you can also chop some raisins up and sprinkle the raisins and the cashew nuts into the curry. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them in. Beautiful. If you chop it finer, the cashew nuts would actually help thicken your curry. So I'm also gonna finish it off with some freshly chopped coriander. Oh my garnishing later. Gotta switch this off. This is done. Give it another quick mix and we're gonna serve it. I am genuinely hungry doing this. And here you go, my delicious amazing crab curry. I really cannot wait to dig in. Jumpa makan guys!